Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Elena and today's video is going to be about art. We are going to be talking about art. I have a special friend with me, Kevin Vincent. He is an artist and we will be showcasing some of his art work today. So I'm very excited to show you all that because I actually have one of his pieces. I think that was about two or three years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago which is behind us actually, so you all will get to see that after when we are finished recording. So, um, yes, so let's get into it. But before we get into showing you all paintings, I want to introduce you all to drum roll, <laughs> Kevin Vincent. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about himself and how he started painting. And exactly when did you start painting? Um, I would say around 2003. Okay. Yeah, and that's right. because that's because of um, school, of course. Right. Um, before that, I was doing a lot of drawings on my own okay. at home. Right. Um, I think I realized that I have a knack for the art. Okay. Um, at a young age. Right. So um, my mother even told me that um, she was able to get sleep if she just gave me a pen and a paper. Okay. That I would sit in a corner and just. Right draw right. for hours apparently <laughs> so um, you know from doing that over time I realized hey, I you know I really really like this this thing and I, f I felt like it was a, 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 an escape for me to do drawings to just do paintings and whatnot um, so I decided to take it up right. fully in, um, in school in okay. secondary school so right. I attended St. George's College Okay. And um, I had a wonderful art teacher there. Right. Her name was Miss Melissa Donald. Okay. Yeah, wonderful art teacher. And um, she has been nurturing me through that um, form one into form five. Right. Um, and just, you know, allowing me to express myself how I want to express myself. Right. In terms of the art and whatnot. Yeah. So it's been, um, it's been a journey there. Yes. And, um, and from there, I then moved from St. George's College to Tranquility Government Secondary. Okay, okay. Um, and I did that, I did my A-levels at that school. Right. So, and you did art at A-levels? Yes, correct. Okay. Art right. at A-level. Yeah. Um, from there, I, I, there was a lot more exposure to art. Um, really? Port of Spain. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, moving from Barataria, right. St. George's College, which is in Barataria, to yes. a school that is in Port of Spain right. is like a totally different exposure, it's a totally different experience. Um, you know, you see a lot of art on the streets, art right. on the walls, a lot yes. of graffiti. Yes. And that is one of the things that stood out to me when I began going to that school. And um, it, 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 it came a, a thing for me, the graffiti in particular. Okay. I, I did my project, my final year project was based on graffiti because there was so much, I was saturated with so much of that in the Port of Spain area. It's like, I need to, um, you know, do this thing. Like, yeah. this is what is um, speaking to me at the moment. Yes. So, um, there, um, what another thing that I was exposed to that kind of helped cement the whole art, art thing was um, going to exhibitions. Ah, in, nice. In, um, in Tranquility, my teacher there, who is Mr. Andy Jacob, mm -hmm. he um, encouraged a lot of that, a lot of the um, getting the students to, to go to exhibitions, to actually go to the galleries, take a look at what the artists are doing. Yes. Um, just fill your mind with the images of, of what is out there, right. what people are what people are doing, you know, so that it, it's it's a, a like an internal I don't know if it's vocabulary <laughs> yeah. really for you so that your creativity could, 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 could come out because you have, you know, you have examples yes. that you can look at from what pe other people are doing. So it's been a lot of that and, and I'm really, really um, thankful for that type of exposure okay. in there. So from there, um, I then went to the university. West Indies okay. and I did my visual arts degree yes. in there and even in there it's just a, again another journey another experience yes. having those um, those courses that was um, it, 
tough at times, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, no, I say thank God for for um, the lecture, certain lectures that we had that helped kind of pave the way yes. and, and, and guide, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, from there it's just been um, like full blown. When I got to UWE, yeah. that has been like a full blown decision to be like, hey, um, I'm going to like paint, like yes. really, 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 really get into right, painting from right. there. You know, so it was just a lot of um, being exposed um, to the different arts and the decisions to, to make and whatnot. But UWE, um, because of one particular lecturer in, part in, in particular, um, he, he, he helped cement that decision for me. Right. Right. Um, this is a, 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 his name is Kenwin Critchlow. He okay. is also an artist. Right. Um, and he is the, the um, like, just an inspiration for me and for the type of work that I do. Yes. And because you actually do need some sort of mentor, mentor when you're doing things like this to keep, you know, giving you that motivation and not only that you need a mentor to give you a different perspective of how you would see things especially when you're on a journey and I think being an artist tends to be a very lonely road I, I could be wrong because it's not like you're partnering with somebody it's just you alone you have to use your imagination you have to use you know uh, everything that is around you that, that probably impacted on your life and stuff like that and what inspired you to do certain paintings and each of the paintings now we only have five and then i'll show you all um my paintings that i got from him it's absolutely beautiful i love it and it's a nice focal point when you walk into the living room that's the first thing your eyes gravitate towards uh, when i met kevin in 2015 i was how to say this i was redecorating and designing over a roti shop in Chavonas and a friend of mine Colleen uh, put me on to Kevin and he did a beautiful mural to the front by the county yes, remember it's yes. still there yeah so um, I think I have some pictures so I'll try to slip it in while we you know during this video okay so um, I really want us to get into showcasing because there are beautiful paintings. I really love them. I can probably get one. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I really wanted him to have some more, but this is what he has available available at the moment. And uh, yes, so I just want us to get into that now. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you finish say all that you need to say? Um. Yeah. Yeah. More or less. Uh, more or less. Yeah. yeah. All right, great. So we'll showcase paintings right now. So guys, we are talking today about art. Now, I know a lot of persons will just go and buy a little cheap art painting and put it on our walls. And yes, it does look good because at the end of the day, we try to be economical and you know, uh, uh, original painting costs money. So some persons would prefer that they go and get a print and just put a frame around it and put it on your walls which look good but i just want to encourage persons to at least even if it's just one original painting in your home because although the prints look really good sometimes when you go into someone's home you see that they have the same thing like you and then you go to somebody's home else and then you see you know they have the same thing like you so you want at least one original piece whether it's in your bedroom when you wake up there's a beautiful mural on your wall whether it's the first thing as you walk into your living room it feels good when you actually have a piece that you know nobody else has and this is why I decided to do this video because I really wanted to encourage persons to get involved in art I think a lot of our artists here in Trinidad and Tobago is under appreciated you know and they do such good work if you go to exhibitions you can probably gain a better appreciation for art and so on so this is why i decided to do this video and of course i can't leave out my good friend kevin because i think he's a very talented artist and i'm really happy to have him here so before good i'm glad you're here i'm glad 
<laughs> but you have to come back, you know. You have to come back with more paintings. <laughs> and this time, what I want to do next video is I will actually show you how you can place your artwork on the wall because that is another challenge that some persons have. They will have beautiful art pieces and it's hiding somewhere or, you know, they just don't know how to place it. And so what I'll do is I'll actually show you all how to place your artwork on the wall so that it's seen and then it, it actually gives your home a better look. We're dealing with feng shui, all these things and yes, so much appreciation for art. And as we're in art, I want to talk about my t-shirt. See? Oh, I'm so yeah. I, I just find it so cute. You know, I'm actually gonna do the logo as well. I'm gonna do it on t-shirts. I'm gonna do it on teacups and who knows? Maybe I can start selling. <laughs> All right, so the first painting we have is what, Kevin? Tell us. Okay, the trees know it. That's the, this is the title of this painting. Yeah, but you refuse to name my painting. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm holding you to it. <laughs> I'm holding you to it. Refuse to name it, so let's see it. All right. All right. So, uh, I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah? yeah. Beautiful. And yeah. what inspired this um, this painting? Ooh. Well, to be honest, I was a bit angry <laughs> <laughs> for this piece. Yeah. Um, the way the piece came about is mm -hmm. in part. So. Um, I didn't have anything planned in particular. Right. All these elements just came together one by one. Wow, it's so, beautiful. And yeah. Laura, it's again, so they can see, you know, the top. Right, beautiful. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So, yeah, you can continue okay, to say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> let, let them see your face, don't hide. <laughs> right. um, just a, a little bit about the piece. Um, the, way, the way it started, um, I began with uh, just a splash of color on the background first and then this guy came into, into being and then after this guy I then took it a step further by dividing the canvas as you right. can see how there are different um, sections yeah yeah and then um, I, I'm really not sure what this this particular <laughs> thing is I mean it's supposed to be a leaf it's supposed to be something but um, yeah. I just wanted to play with the shape yeah. really that's really what right. it was it's and with that I love plants, it I just wanted to include these plants because I, I think it. at the point in yeah. time um, I was dealing with a lot of plants okay so this is where this inspiration came right. from and what's the cost so, for this painting oh this is going for 3000 right now really yes Ooh, that's a good good price hear that three thousand dollars only three thousand yeah <laughs> and it's a beautiful painting so I'm thinking like you have a nice foyer in your home so you can put this or you have an entertainment room you can put that there as well you know yeah this is lovely all right let's move on to the next painting so let me just put this one aside Okay, so this one, what's the name of this one? This is so pretty. <laughs> I love this painting. I really do. It is so pretty. Yeah. yeah it's one of my favorites. It's called Living Vessel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so um, the, the rationale behind this piece, this was a part of, um, this is one out of 10 pieces. There was a um, a series that I worked on and I, I titled that series walk on water so it had a lot to do about um, a lot to do with faith right. and my walk Ooh, I love and that transition from I guess the secular into a little more spiritual yes so I did 10 pieces that right. was just strictly blue right working with those blue colors those blue hues yeah and you know mm -hmm. again just enjoying the the the, the abstract you know it's, it's just one of my um, really, really... Dear to your heart pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, that's basically it. Yeah. What I wanted to play with here um, is just a lot of texture, yes. as you can see from these here. I love it. 
there's other front texture up here as well yes and then oh. the the shapes you know um, really what abstract is to me what it is is just a, a, a combination of different elements to create something harmonious right. it's like um, the dissolving of a concrete object so um, abstract do tend to lend into um, the physical world like actual objects yes. but then sometimes it could be um, like obscured or, or like blurred yes. or you know it's just like a you know I right. guess again the dissolving of like yeah. a concrete object so yeah. It may look like yes. um, something that we know. Like yes. For instance, I think people see like a shell from this one, but um, it's always open to your interpretation. Yeah. You it's know? so pretty. But you know, if for example, if you have a, a lovely blue room in which you use to meditate, you can have a lovely mural. Well, sorry, a painting like this. I think it will do well in, in a space like that. You know. So, and what's the cost for this one? Oh, well, this is not for sale. This, this is actually... Oh, so this is going to stay with me? Oh, oh thank yeah, this, you. This, I'm bonding already. This is already bought. <laughs> what? Yes. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. I love it. Oh, I'm sad. What's the other one? So, we have this Ooh. pretty lady here. Missy. Yeah. This is actually... Um, Your girlfriend? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hair looks like... <laughs> no. This is, um, this was a commissioned piece. Okay. Right? Someone commissioned a piece to do um, a portrait for them. So, um, I not, I now... I not only do abstracts, but I'm I'm starting to venture into the figurative work. Oh, okay. So this is the okay. reason for this. Okay. So I have been doing quite a few. Um, yeah, recently. I remember you did tell me that you're going into more figurative yeah. paintings. Yeah, it's to really expand my portfolio as an artist. Yes. And um, I do feel like I I need to um, get practice with that figurative. Yeah. You know the the figure the, the human anatomy. Great job. So yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and this one cost? Oh, these are going for, um, I can't remember the price <laughs> in particular, but a portrait could around maybe 8 by 10 could be about $600. Yeah. Yeah. For, and that's um, that's a little bit smaller than this. Okay. Right? Okay. So this may go for like um, like 1500 or so. Alright, okay, yeah. cool. Nice. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so this one that we have is, which one, Kevin? Levitical. That's the title of it, Levitical. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Um, with this, I clearly went with an oceanscapes theme. Um, right. I was really feeling the corals at the point in time, which is the reason for this texture here. I wanted to really mimic that and see if I can take that out of the, the, the real world and do it in an abstract way to, um, you know, create a, a visual interest. Which I think it does because um, you know again just using the the, the like the light blue yeah with the um, this beauty I love this pink I love the blue and the violets I know? love it the violet and the yeah. blues yeah so it stays within that um, that cool spectrum yeah and I feel I feel like it's it's um it's 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 good f on the eyes it's good it on the eyes good in terms of eyes. its you know visual aesthetics yes. Ooh, I hope you all can see <laughs> and just bring it on a little lower their eyes so they can see good nice this is pretty looks like the ocean in the night you know? <laughs> yeah again this was um this was also one of the pieces from walk on water that's that particular series again right. it was just blue paintings as okay. you can see just working with the violets and blues all so, right Okay, great. So, are you going to have any exhibitions this year? Um, oh, I, I would love to, <laughs> but um, in terms of solo exhibitions, right. that is um, that is still to be. Um, um, I'm working towards that okay. right now. Yes. Um, but what you can, if you're if you're looking for paintings by me, yes. Um, I'm currently in Carrie Festa. Oh, great. Right now. Yes, nice. as we speak. 
So, okay, but other than Car Festa, um, do you have an Instagram page? How can people reach you if they are interested in one of your paintings? No problem. You can reach me at Inner Shepherd at that's Instagram. That's the at seven N N E R underscore Shepherd. Um, or you can just search Kevin Vincent on Instagram. Okay. Um, another platform you can find me at is on Pinterest. You can see work oh, there. Okay, great. Yeah. Nice. You can see work that I've done there. Um, and Facebook, of course. Of you can course. just type in Kevin Vincent and right. it should be easy to okay. pull up from there. All right, great. And we have one more painting to show. This one is very pretty as well. So, oh. This is, oh. a, this is a painting that is actually very dear to my heart and I'll tell you why. Okay. This is the first painting that I, the first abstract painting that I have attempted when um, I began Iwi. Okay. And there was so much, um, again, when I was exposed to um, a particular artist and, and, and other things, like other artwork, mm -hmm. this was the first um, like passion yes. in terms of executing a painting. Okay. I, I wanted to capture something that I, I, I was experiencing from um, my mentor, right. who was Critchlow, Kevin Critchlow, at the point in time. And I felt like um, some of some of the elements in here, yes. or some of the, the I, I call them like fleeting moments, yeah. is um, was a, it was a success in terms of what I sought out to do in terms of light. Like oh, yes. using the texture, this is yes. just texture, just to capture yeah. a sense of light, right? In there, you know. Okay. So it's a a very very important piece. This is and, uh, what what year you did this painting? This is two thousand and thirteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So, I don't know. It just reminds me a lot of like those forest and there's a part of the forest that is very mystical and very vibrant with colors and trees that you don't see regularly fruit trees that you don't see you know it's just, it's just really like i i really do love art i don't have the talent to draw um in terms of artwork and stuff like that but i do have a keen eye still when it comes to art and how you can arrange it on your walls all right so this is beautiful as well i guess you have this one at home this one is not yeah, this one no it's not for sale <laughs> are you sure don't scare my wall very <laughs> you know so yeah okay well this is the final painting and uh, what i'll do before we wrap up uh well probably after i'll show you all my beautiful mural actually what happened is when i was doing my degree there was this painting in the college and i really loved the painting it was in the the president of the student scale office and i really loved the painting i was begging him please let me let me purchase this painting please i just want to have it you know and they're like oh, i'll think about it and someone stole it Wow. Someone stole the painting. Actually, I love the painting so much that I took a picture of it. And then when I met Kevin, I said, Kevin, you can do this. But he put his own spin on it, and it's actually way better than the one I saw in school, <laughs> you know. So I would like to thank you all for watching this video. I know it was a bit lengthy, but once again, art, like wine, is something that you have to gain appreciation for and i want to encourage those to subscribe you all are being left out of the party okay <laughs> videos are coming nicer videos better video okay <laughs> so subscribe share like and you can follow me on instagram for inspiration at alina alene and see you all next time thank you for watching bye